friends, friends, friends. Welcome to Chattery's Corner. I'm in my kitchen once again, and I have something great I'm preparing for you. But it, I gotta get down, if you know what I mean. Because I can't see the camera, because I want to do a pineapple for you. Pineapple. Have you ever wondered how to cut a pineapple? They can be up. Pain, pain, pain. You gotta have a good knife. Santoku knife, princess house. Let me show you how to cut this baby. All you gotta do is cut it in half, cut the ends off. Then you go like this. This knife cuts through the pineapple like butter, 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 butter. Keep your fingers away. Keep your fingers away. It cuts right through just like butter. When you're finished cutting the pineapple, you cut down through the core. When you're finished with that, you cut the core out, and then you lay the pineapple down. Let me get this out of the way, so you can see. You cut it like that, and you go chop, 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 just like that. And then you go, mm! shady maple, a dollar. 99. They had bins of them. It's so good. Now, I'm going to fix for you a pork chop and acorn squash plate. Pork chop, washed, patted dry, and seasoned. You see that beautiful seasoning? Tablespoon of paprika, teaspoon of oregano, teaspoon of garlic powder, teaspoon of onion powder, teaspoon of Chili powder, dry mustard, salt, pepper. Well, not salt. No, 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 salt. So, okay. Let that, and then I did it on the beautiful grill press pan from Princess House. I have never been able to make a good pork chop. Have you? And by the way, I have an inkling these are going to be good because these pork chops are from those woodlot pigs on Gemstone Acres, 717-629-9064, Gemstone Acres. I can't wait, because I think this pork chop may have got beautiful. Five minutes each side, the grill press pan. But what you do to complement these wonderful pork chops. You use the pineapple. Yes, you do. And what you do is you take the pineapple that you chopped, right? Take a cast iron pan, which by the way, these are on sale right now with Princess House. You take a chunk of butter about that much butter. Put it in your hot cast iron skillet. Take the pineapples, dump them in the butter, butter, butter. And then you glaze them and let them get all grilled. And when they're grilled, you take a tablespoon of brown sugar, your own healthy brown sugar. It's the kind of sugar that doesn't spike your, spike something, blood, I don't know. Good for you. Put a brown sugar on it. Let it glaze and get all delicious. I added a little bit of water after they were glazing. So we have a product kind of like this, a glazed pine pineapple. Just taste. Oh, my goodness. Hallelujah. Now, with this, I made in the oven a roasted acorn squash. I love acorn squash. I'm ready to plate. Where's my plate? I'm going to plate it on my rectangular Marissa plate from Princess House. Here comes the test. My pork chop. Ooh, baby, that looks delish. My 
egg corn squash that's roasted. And when you have the egg corn squash on the plate, let me show you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take some butter. I'm gonna dig around my egg corn squash, loosen the meat. Mm. I'm going to put some butter, mix that in there, kind of mash it like mashed squash. I'm going to salt it, some salt, and then comes the pineapple, glazed pineapple. I'm going to put a little bit on the meat. And I'm going to put pineapple in my squash. A little bit more. And last of all, I still have some fresh parsley. So I'm going to put some fresh parsley on my plate and some on the side for pretty pork chop and egg corn squash with pineapple. Gemstone Acres, 717-629-9064. Should I try it? Steak knife, fork. Now remember, I never made pork chops before. This is the test. Should I hold my breath? I'm gonna hold my breath. <sighs> it's just right. Let me try. Mm. Pineapple and egg corn squash. Mmm. Mm. I just want to rest here for a minute. Is that okay with you? But I realize we must go. We have work to do. So I'll say bye-bye for now. Thank you for joining.